Bunny. Yes. Bun. Ba. <laughs> or just the letter B. I want to start the podcast oddly this time around. Okay. I know Backwards. that I've said that. Before. Kind of. I know that I've said that before, but this time I actually mean it. I want to start off the show with an unscripted, off the cuff discussion about the sense of taste. The sense of taste. The sense of taste. I've been thinking about the sense of taste a lot lately. There's baby flavoring in Pepsi. You know that, right? There's baby. I no, I did not know that. Okay. I I, I would believe that if you were talking about Pepsi Fire, because that shit is horrible. <laughs> that shit is gross as hell. Yeah. But no, I've been thinking about the sense of taste lately. Like, uh, I I don't think about ketchup. Like, I go to the store. And I get the cheapest ketchup. A lot of times I go to the store for coffee and I get the cheapest coffee. Have I have there's seven people in my house. Yeah. So I don't go for the nicest things. It's what can I get the most of for less? Yeah. Is my motto, my mantra. So I, I don't really think about. Uh, there are certain things that I just don't think about the taste of. Like, I don't think about the taste of ketchup. I figure ketchup is ketchup. And you don't think about the taste of ketchup until you have, like, a ketchup that tastes different. Like, there's ketchup, and then there's McDonald's ketchup, which tastes different than your regular ketchup. Probably has more sugar in it. Yeah. Yeah, it's sweeter. It's sweeter. Another ketchup that tastes really good is Whataburger. 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 Yeah, they have a different sort of ketchup. So then I go to the store and I see the ketchup section. And and and, and so this has got me thinking about the sense of taste because there's a bunch of different ketchups, you know, mm -hmm. different ketchup, different, different price ranges. Yeah, it gets me thinking about ketchup. You can't just go to this. You can go to the store and just get ketchup. But there's starting to be more ketchups like Oreos. It's yes. difficult to just get an Oreo because now there's like 50 different types of Oreos out there. I got some Sriracha. Sriracha? Is that how you say it? Sriracha Oreos? That's No, no, no. Weird. Ketchup. Sriracha ketchup. Okay. That's sriracha ketchup. Awesome. That, that's, that's a bit of a better taste than Sriracha awesome. Oreo. <laughs> yes. But you could put that on Oreos, I guess, if you want. But yeah, I guess you could put it on anything, really. I... I feel I, I I have never had anything pumpkin spice, okay, yeah. Yeah. and I really feel like I really feel like I would enjoy it, but I just don't want to be that person, you know. Understood. Understood. Yeah. Understood. I just bought um pumpkin spiced cinnamon rolls. Okay, just nope. don't tell anybody. No. Nope. Yeah. You've Nobody got, knows now. You've got to keep my secret. Because you know what happens? You know what happens <laughs> if, if I get caught having anything pumpkin spice? You know what happens? Yes. I'll immediately have to start wearing, wearing a cowl neck. Mm hmm. <laughs> Your rep will be shot. A cowl yeah. neck sweater. Yeah. Yeah. Cowl neck? So but as for as for <laughs> um if you are an Alex Jones fan like myself yes. yes then you would know that Pepsi is made out of baby flavorings of course okay of course um because and that's it they 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 will insist that Pepsi is flavored with babies Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. What it is is there's there's this company that does um, stem cell research. Okay. Okay. So they are researching stem cells. So they come up with a lot of weird fucking things to do stem cells, but that's why stem cells is so great. Okay. Yeah. So what they have done basically is they have grown they've grown human taste buds out of stem cells. 
Like you do. Okay. And now they use that to make money for their company by literally taste testing companies' products like Pepsi. Yeah. Okay. So, so they're that, using babies. Huh? So they're using babies. So, well, they're using, they're, they're putting actual baby flavoring into the Pepsi. Yeah. Which is completely not true at all. <laughs> yeah. But still, okay. it could be. That, you know, after the Friday I had. Yeah. Actually, after the week I had, there was a lot of poop last week. Yeah. A lot of poop. I don't want to think about baby flavoring. Oh, I, I, I thought that was your way of coming out for baby flavoring, mm. that they're better in a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, there was a lot of poop. I want to see this. I want to see this thing, though. Okay? Because I'm just picturing, like, a giant tongue. Yeah, that's what I was picturing as well. You know, like, it's it's the opening to the to the strangest Godzilla movie ever. <laughs> you know? There's this yeah. giant tongue and a giant tongue and a room full of very, very busy Japanese people in completely white hazmat suits running around with eyedroppers and dropping it on the tongue in key places. You know, and the combination of Pepsi Gatorade and uh I don't know what else. Cheetos. Yeah. That combination causes it to become sentient. It breaks out of its confinement. And then Godzilla has to beat it up. Yeah. You just basically wrote a Godzilla move. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Alex so, Jones. <laughs> so, so ketchup. Ketchup. There are different types. There are different types of ketchup. I just buy the cheap stuff. But there's different flavors, different qualities. And I know that if I had money, that I could buy some better ketchup that tastes better, that has a different flavor yeah. and that sort of thing. So then here's so like I think that I could get like the cheap ketchup and the Walmart and the, the McDonald's ketchup and the Whataburger ketchup. And I think that I could do a blind taste test. I think I could figure out which ketchup is, is like the really good ketchup and that, and that sort of thing. I think I could do that. But then the other day, yeah, I went to the store to buy salt. Okay. And I I had the ketchup in my mind, I guess, because there's a bunch of different salt out there. Not just Maxwell, put that down. You're going to break something. Okay. Seriously. You don't play with, pool noodles in the bedroom you're gonna break something okay you're gonna break that light i keep telling you not to play with that so so not like a, like the difference between like salt and kosher salt and that sort of thing i'm talking about just just regular salt there's a bunch of different price ranges and a bunch of different companies so then that got me thinking about the sense of taste because i can tell the difference between certain types of ketchup but if i bought you know a 79 cent thing of ketchup and a, a of salt and a four dollar thing of salt could i tell the difference because it's salt yeah you know mm -hmm. like could i tell the difference in the taste of that salt all they all they could do is change its shape yeah you know, so then so then that came into that came to a head when we I was at the store with Natasha and I said, honey, I want to buy some bologna. And she said, ah, I don't want any bologna. But then we went to the deli and I'm checking out the deli and they have bologna there. So I started thinking, wait a second. What if you hate bologna? Because all you've gotten is the cheap bologna. <laughs> we always get we always get like cheap bologna. Have you ever gotten the deli bologna? I've never gotten the deli bologna. For all I know, the deli bologna is like wonderful, and we just don't know that because we've always been getting cheap bologna. Yes. I, I think you, know? you raise I think you raise a, a very valid point. Um but but see now about the salt, I mean, because as far as I know, like it's only square or diamond shape. 
you know? That's the difference between the different salts that are out there. Yeah. But now, if they were able to make salt shapes, like breakfast cereals, you know? Yeah. Little hearts and clovers and diamonds and squares and, you Horses. know, um, Ghostbuster characters, you know, think. Yeah. I would go for that salt. Oh, I would definitely go for that salt, too. Yeah. Uh, the Pope on Film podcast. Uh, what is today's date? The 9th? 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay. All right. Number 9. Are, are you... Are you Number 9. <laughs> Number 9. Number 9. Said it. I'm setting up. I'm setting up to go live uh, a little bit later in the intro. Okay. Not yet, but eventually. We're, I want to go live once we get to um, Steve's historical approximations, which is really good this week. We're not okay. live yet. Genie's Genie's gone into a Beatles loop. Just, just. Yeah, I, I can hear. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know how to break her of this. 